Thanks, Lintao. Uh, you have just seen how our research in storage and systems has significantly helped our product teams to improve the uh, search platform and the product. Next, I'm going to invite our senior researcher, Dong Mei Zhang, to come to the podium to tell us about the code clone analysis technology, which again is a piece of research that highlights how our work helped the software developers uh, across the company to significantly improve the way that we write in software, the way we produce our tools. Dong Mei. Thanks, Fong. Microsoft is a software company. Here, we cannot emphasize enough the importance of software development and tools. Over the years, Microsoft Research has made a tremendous contribution in the area of software development and tools. Here's a video we'd like to share with you to show our passion and our thoughts in this area. Microsoft is in the business of you know, delivering software. So the more we can understand the software that we are building, the more that we have insight into the code that we are building, the better job we could do as a company in terms of delivering great software. Technology shifts over time, but it's always the same principles that you can apply to improve the situation, starting from solid foundations, uh, better programming languages, better abstractions. My team is in research because we are trying to explore the limits of what we can do with uh, our technology. When we develop larger and larger scale of software and a software of more and more complexity, more and more data are generated in the software development process. That naturally expands the scope of software development and tools. So the perspective that we have in doing our research is to take the data-driven approach to uh, try to improve the software and service qualities as well as the development productivity. Over the years, developer division and Microsoft Research have worked together and have resulted in some fantastic you know, technologies that we've been able to deliver to our developer customers. There is the dream that we can produce software that uh, has no security vulnerabilities, that guarantees your privacy, and uh, that is, uh, in some sense, always available. And it's good to always um, uh, have somebody knowing the state of the art and pushing the state of the art. Microsoft has done a very good job in terms of uh, using data in our development process to make decisions. But thinking about where we are and the goal we want to achieve, there's uh, still a lot of room for us to do research and development together with our product team partners. We want to make uh, software so immersive that you don't care whether it's written in one language or another, whether it runs on one platform or another. The main thing is you can use it in order to improve your life. As one example of our work in the area of software development and tools, today I'm going to talk about code column analysis. People who write code are very familiar with copy and paste. In fact, copy and paste is a common developer behavior. When we copy a piece of code and paste it, sometimes we make changes, big or small, sometimes we don't. Although copy and paste is a quick and easy way for us to reuse code, it could have serious consequences. When there's a bug in the code, the bug will be spread to other places when the code gets copied. When we fix the bug in the code, quite often, we just forget to fix it in all the copies. To make things worse, sometimes we're not even aware of the copies being made by other developers. When bugs are created like this, and they do not get fixed in time, then the product quality will be compromised. In addition to the bug problem, the code base could be bloated over time as more and more code gets copied. And this will incur high cost on code maintenance. At Microsoft Research, we developed code column analysis technique 
that can help developers find similar code. In particular, when two code snippets are gapped clones, meaning one code snippet has inserted or deleted statements that the other code snippet does not have, our technique can handle such clones with high precision and recall. Our code clone analysis technique is scalable and it works efficiently and effectively on large scale code bases. In addition, we provide an intuitive user interface for developers to easily understand the differences between code clones. Based on our code clone analysis technique, we have created code clone search service and transferred it to the Microsoft Security Research Response Center. Using this service, over 400 million lines of code across multiple Microsoft product code bases have been indexed. Whenever a piece of vulnerable code in one version of a product is identified, using this service, we can easily find similar code snippets in other versions of the product. If the same vulnerability exists, then we can fix it in a proactive way. As you can see, our code color analysis technique helps make Microsoft products become more secure. In addition, we also collaborated with the Visual Studio team and integrated code clone search um, technique into the new version of Visual Studio, which was recently previewed at the Build Conference. Using this new code clone analysis feature, developers will be able to find code refactoring opportunities very easily. And also, this feature will help them fix the same bug once if the buggy code has copies. With the release of the new version of Visual Studio, we're very happy to see that our code clone analysis technique will benefit the developer community. Last but not least, I would like to thank our colleagues in MSRA Innovation and Engineering Group, as well as our partners in Microsoft Security Response Center and also Visual Studio team. The technology transfer of code clone analysis is a great example of the close collaboration between Microsoft Research and Microsoft product teams. This collaboration demonstrates not only our passion about technology innovation, but also our determination to make real impacts using innovative technologies. Thanks for your attention.